I love history and I love research. In general, there's always sort of a story in, in terms of my work. So there's always pieces to the story, but the whole thing is never laid out. So there's always some detective work that you have to do. So the biggest part of the story for me is not just finding the first model, but finding that the first model is Mary Alexander, who's an amazing woman. Uh, I'm the youngest of 10 children. I was born and raised in Ball Play, Alabama by some loving, loving parents, Hurley and Electa Hauser. And I'm also the granddaughter of uh, a former slave. My grandfather was a slave and my great-grandfather was a slave. During the 50s and coming forward, you did not see a lot of African Americans modeling for any company. I went for the interview, and there were about 75 other girls there. And I was frightened half to death. I was really afraid. I said, oh, I hope I don't get that job. Because when I walked in the room and I saw 75 other girls, I said, Lord, why am I here? I shouldn't be here. So I went back to my room and I cried. So a couple of days later, she came to me and said, Miss Kauser, you are now going to model for Coca-Cola. In, in retrospect, it's, it's hard to imagine that she was sort of nervous before that actually came up because she's just this amazing lady, but um, I don't know, she really, she really stepped up to the plate. I feel like I'm, it may, may not be direct, but I feel like I benefited from what she actually did back in 1955. So I waited until I caught him in the right spot and in the right mood, and I told him what I'd gotten myself into. So he would shake his head, and he'd look, and didn't say very much, and I'm just talking a mile a minute. And uh, I said, well, maybe I'll show him the check that I received. So at this last session, and I believe they did this at all of the sessions, they gave me a $600 check. And that was more money than I had ever seen in my life. $600 check in 1955. And I believe that was a lot of money for my dad to see. When I showed him that check, he said, $600 for taking your picture? I said, yes, Dad. He said, well, you can do it. He was very happy. And I told him, Dad, I can pay my tuition for my senior year with the $600 check. He said, I will allow you then to go on and do this. She was sort of this um, shy student who didn't want to go to do a coke ad. Once she was selected to do the coke ad, it's almost like from that point she felt like she could do anything. So she went on to be the first African American teacher in her school district and the first African American principal in her school district. So after 1955, it's like, Trailblazing was just part of what she did. All the ads that Mary Alexander was featured in were families. It, it was sort of the first time African Americans saw themselves and family in advertising. So to say, well, there have been billboards for years that had, you know, a certain family on there, but now I'm included. It's the typical American family. They just happen to be African American. And I think when they set out with that advertising campaign, that was what they were trying to do. You know, it was to sort of erase some of the sort of stereotypical images and say, we're as American as apple pie. And here's our family. <laughs>